Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to have a look at how to start using Unity Gaming Services with Game Creator 2. In order to do this I will be using Easy UGS and we'll be starting from scratch. It would make sense that when thinking of using Unity Gaming Services, which from now on we'll just call UGS, um, it would mainly be for multiplayer games. However, that's just one use case and quite frankly any game you're working on right now could take advantage of this. UGS not only allows for multiplayer games, but it's also for analytics, authentication, in-app purchases and cloud saves. Especially the latter can, and if possible should, be used for any type of single player game. Currently Easy UGS helps you with all of those use cases, except for the multiplayer gaming which will be added through updates. Personally, I make single player games and for me cloud saves is the big item. I mostly play single player games as well and quite frankly I can't remember the last one that doesn't have cloud saves. So let's have a look at how to use this. I would like to thank all of my Patreon supporters for the absolutely amazing support. So like I said, I'll be starting this from scratch. So this is a new uh, 2021 um, LTS project. I have absolutely nothing installed except for easy UGS tutorials. Now fair warning, um, this is a completely separate package um, that does override some project settings. So I wouldn't recommend installing that tutorial asset um, into an existing project that is already well set up. Um, instead watch the official videos or just watch the one you're watching right now um, in order to follow along with the steps. Um, it's really cool. Um, this I've never really used something like this before um, in terms of how it explains how to do everything and I think it's really awesome. Um, and it, it's definitely helpful because uh, most of you, including myself, uh, won't be that familiar yet with using uh, Unity Gaming Services. Um, so this is a perfect way of doing it. So um, let's follow along with the tutorial. So uh, preparations. Um, start by importing, um, okay, yes, okay, um, then let's look up Game Creator 2. Um, import. Cool, import. Um, I have no idea how this is done, but this is awesome. Should, should have something like this for my own uh, for my own assets as well. Really cool stuff. Perfect. So it's installed, and as you can see, uh, it recognizes that it's installed. And now we go next. Uh, select Easy UGS and click import. Um, Okay, that's already there as well. Import. Awesome. That was quick. Um, then select edit. Project settings. Um, select your organization. Um, so I'll use my personal one and then create project ID. Okay. And that's it. Now I'm going to do one additional step. Um, I'll also select this and set that to no. Um, cool. Um, okay, next. Um, you can find more under tutorial, blah, blah, blah. And perfect. So um, a really cool way um, to basically do all of this from, uh, from basics um, if you're not familiar with how to, um, you know, use any of these services, this is just incredibly, incredibly cool. So yeah, really good stuff. Um, so now that we've got uh, Game Creator 2 and um, Easy UGS uh, set up, um, we can have a look at how to um, actually start using these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Game Creator Hub, uh, not Hub, um, uh, Install. And um, we're going to have a look at some of the examples. So I'll install, should have just done this. Sorry about that. Uh, 
Yeah, there we go. So I'll install the default ones. Now, before we set any of that up, we're going to go to dashboard.unity3d.com. And in here, um, we can uh, check out our project. So um, I'm, on, uh, I'm on this account, so there's only one project here. Um, and that's, um, well, the current one we're using. As you can see, nothing is set up yet, and that's completely fine. Um, and then when we go to Explore Services, we see everything um, that is supported by Unity, Unity uh, Gaming Services, which obviously is a lot. Um, we're going to go to Authentication, Set Up Authentication, and as you can see, it was free, quite important. And then here, um, you can add your identity provider. Um, so make sure to check this documentation. Um, this documentation basically goes over um, how to set up all of these sign-ins. And if you remember correctly, we had those options as well um, inside of the uh, installer of Game Creator for Easy UGS. And you basically have all of these, um, all of these options. So I think um, Steam is going to be a popular one, um, the Google one, of course, um, but also Oculus for everyone doing VR games. Um, great integration with that um, and Unity. So, you know, definitely worth looking into. And then, yeah, you set up your um, authentication however you want to use it. And it's all explained in the documentation here. Um, not going to go through every single step, but yeah, check this out. So once that's done, um, back in our project, um, we're going to go to um, Unity Registry. Um, we're going to go to um, Cloud, and then we have uh, Cloud Save. Going to install that. Perfect. Um, we're also going to look up Authn. There we go. And um, we need to update this one. Um, and one of the ways to do this is um, add package by name and then com dot unity dot services dot authentication and then oh let's make sure not to forget that last dot and then add um, and it will update it to um, this version sometimes it's a bit weird how um, you know, not all of the Unity packages that are great and useful or updated versions are just visible straight away. So you have sometimes have to do it like this. I know it's a bit weird, but yeah. Then next up, um, we want to check out Cloud Save as obviously that's uh, it's kind of the big thing. Um, so we're going to install that. And um, when we install Cloud Save, it will be um, installing everything else that is uh, essential. So core authentication and yeah, all of that. Good, perfect. Game creator settings. And then um, we select uh, cloud save. And that's the default uh, system for saving now. So yeah, you know, like I said before, pretty easy to set up. And now that we're in our scene, let's get rid of, um, we can get rid of this now. Okay, cool. Um, let's even close this one. So we're back into our uh, a default layout, um, which I prefer, <laughs> there we go. So what is um, actually different now that we've done all of this compared to traditionally saving a game um, compared to cloud saving? So um, one of the easy ways um, to check this uh, is we're going to go uh, Game Creator um, and we're going to add a trigger. Now, one of the first things we need to do on start, um, easy UGS core initialize. That's it, easy UGS and then authentication. And um, this is kind of where um, if you've actually, um, you know, linked one of those accounts, which you obviously should be doing. And again, I think for most people here, it will be Steam. Um, you know, you, you set that up. However, um, I didn't do that. Um, so we're just going to uh, skip sign in with one of those accounts. And I'm just going to do uh, anonymously because I never actually linked anything because this is not a real game. 
Um, luckily, we have this option so we can still test everything working. Um, and if you want to only link that account later, that's completely fine. Um, you know, you can just use this in the meantime. Now, this is a, a trigger uh, on start. And this is what you'd run in the background. Now, imagine you have a, uh, a menu, whatever, doesn't really matter. Um, basically, you have an action that saves. So we're going to do a save game. There we go. So let's run this in the game. I know there's nothing here that's not relevant. Um, this is a separate thing. So this will always be on, normally linked to the proper account. Um, and there we go. So we have this extra trigger running in the background and then we're going to uh, save our game. As you can see, done. And let's check our dashboard now to see if something actually happened. So back in our dashboard, um, we're going to go to cloud save. Um, as you can see, um, because this is not my normal uh, publisher account, um, you know, it requires payment information. So I'm even going to go through those steps. So as you can see, start for free and you go beyond free tier limits, blah, blah, blah. Um, you can check out the pricing plans as well uh, for this. So basically, um, well, that's that's it. That's the pricing plan. Um, so definitely have a look. Obviously, we're not going to save much here. So um, I'll just go with the pay as you go. Um, next step, and then let's uh, going to black this out so you don't actually see what I'm doing here. Um, need to select an industry, so it will be uh, games. And um, we're done. So now when we refresh this, um, we have payment information. So um, when we go to cloud saves now, when we do find player, um, you'll see that um, there's already someone here. And when we have a look at the cloud save, um, you can see that it was created well, whenever we had that time frame. So that must have been this so about 10 minutes ago um, and it was saved and that's literally it so as you can see um, in unity it doesn't actually change um, anything once we've created that first on start trigger um, it doesn't actually change anything in how we create our game but it allows us to actually have cloud save straight away and it's such an easy process and it's such a big upgrade compared to having the traditional saves so I wholly recommend doing this. Um, if you are creating a game in uh, Game Creator 2, I, I think this is such an essential thing these days. Um, it's really hard to go without it. Um, and as you can see, it's so easy to do. It really, um, it really doesn't take a lot of work. Um, and I definitely recommend doing this. Now, if you're creating mobile games, obviously it's all worth it just for the in-app purchases, etc. cetera. Um, but yeah, you'll need authentication as well. Um, you'll need sign in with one of those accounts most of the time anyway. Um, but even if you're not doing any of that, no mobile games, just a traditional single player game, it's become so easy to have cloud saves. And um, yeah, I, I can't really imagine now uh, doing a game created to project uh, without this it's just become essential now obviously it doesn't stop there um, there's a couple of big features coming to this asset um, so we're going to have a chat support we're going to have a netcode support push notifications and the most essential for multiplayer games uh, matchmaker and multiplayer support now you already saw all of those services um, in the dashboard and easy UGS will support all of that as well. So yeah, really cool, really exciting. I know there's been tons of requests for multiplayer games and now that uh, Unity uh, Gaming Services is supported with Game Creator 2, we can finally go ahead and start doing that. So once the, those updates are live, I will cover that. Uh, we'll do a, a small mini series on creating an actual multiplayer game. But for now, for all of you that are not interested in that, 
just you know already installed this either way um, because just for cloud game uh, cloud safe support it's become completely essential so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one